In this video, you will learn about a very prized mushroom named lion's mane. Its scientific name is Herisium erinaceus. It belongs to the genus Herisium, also known as monkey's head mushroom or priest mushroom, hedgehog mushroom or you can say bearded tooth mushroom. They are called by different names but lion's mane is the most popular name used. You can uh, just see why it's because it's just like the lion's mane. It's a very prized edible gourmet medicinal mushroom and the thing is that it's extremely delicious. Many describe their flavor as like seafood uh, often comparing it to the prawn, crabs or lobsters. This mushroom contains the best bioactive compounds. It has nootropic properties which can heal the brain. It has the boosting properties for the mind and hence it's very high in demand. Because it's no ordinary mushroom which you will understand very soon in this video, the average price of this mushroom in the dry form is around 10,000 rupees per kilogram. Its powdered extracts which is in very high demand sells for around 80,000 rupees to 1 lakh rupees per kilogram. Lion's mane mushroom is often called the new money maker of the future. Best part about it is that it's very easy to grow. You don't need to invest a lot of money and you can grow it right where you are right now sitting. It's easy to adapt and grow at any place. So you can grow it in your home or even if you are planning for a large commercial setup, you can easily do this. Watch this video till the end. You will learn everything about the amazing lion's mane mushroom, its growing parameters. I will teach you the step-by-step -step cultivation method by following which you will definitely be able to grow this mushroom and everything about its marketing. Lion's mane can be cooked in multiple ways. It blends easily with any recipe of choice. It can be sliced into small chunks or shredded or it can be fried, sorted with spices or simply boiled for soup. It can also be dried for further use and easily you can use sun or the dehydrators and whenever you require to use this mushroom you can just rehydrate them in water and reuse them. Why it's an amazing mushroom? Why it's a prized, prized mushroom? Unlike other mushrooms, it doesn't have any cap and stem. It has a teeth instead of gills from where it releases its spores. Its spore color is white. They belong to a group of hydnoid fungi. They grow spore producing spines outside of the fruiting body. Uh, have you have uh, already seen that other mushrooms like oysters, shiitakes, they do have gills, but it doesn't use any gills. They have spines or that's the call. That's what we call teeth. They do this to maximize the surface area. Uh, why? Because to fully optimize the reproductive capacity. Isn't it an intelligent mushroom? Lion's mane has anti-inflammatory properties, especially for tissues in the stomach and intestines. Hence, since centuries, it has been used for gastric ulcers, gastric diseases. Now, the scientific research has proven it contains anti-cancer and immunity-boosting compounds. After the advancement of modern-day science and research, the lion's mane has become very popular for its brain-boosting functions. Several brain and neurological problems are found to be cured or improved uh, and using this mushroom it has uh, tremendous chemical compounds which has the potential to repair the damaged uh, brain nerve cells, it cures neuro problems, it improves the brain functioning like cognitive ability, memory power, focus, it helps with the anxiety and depressed, uh, depression problems, it can in fact uh, prevent the Alzheimer disease. Within few days of regular use, uh, its users often notice a better memory, creativity and mental endurance. The best fact is that it not only helps with the memory and focus but with overall emotional being. It helps with the mind and body connection. How? But how does it does? No other mushrooms uh, have been uh, found to be such much effective other than those magical mushrooms of course but this is a gourmet edible mushroom which has such a tremendous beautiful taste but it affects our mind in such a such a drastic way in such a positive manner but how because it contains two special compounds one is hericinones and another one is erinacines which is responsible for the stimulation of nerve nerve growth factor these two bioactive compounds are responsible for nerve regeneration and boosting factors. 
what is nerve growth factor actually it is it it is something which is in our brain and it maintains every factor in our body be like uh, which uh, the functions which are essential for survival or the regulations of our body parts and everything in fact our brain is the central system which is actually responsible for controlling everything and as we age this nerve growth factor in our mind in our brain actually declines and ngf has some limitation it can't cross the blood brain barrier like the ngm uh, compounds can flow through to only those places where our blood can flow through that uh, nerves hence the role of lion's mane come the erinacines which is found and extracted from from the lion's mane are special because they can cross this uh, blood barrier yeah as ngf can't cross the brain uh, blood brain barrier but this erinacines extracts has such a potential and they have such a capacity capacity that they can cross the blood brain barrier this means neurons can absorb lion's mane's erinacines right from the blood stream they act directly on the central nervous system to improve our cognition researchers have found that lion's mane extracts block certain pain signals and helps regenerate nerves by stimulating ngf it supports recovery from nerve damage it has been established right now so no other mushroom co- contains these two uh, such a powerful bioactive compounds in the similar similarly like the erinacines works the herinacines also work in the same fashion erinacine is in the mycelium and herinacines uh, are found in the fruiting body of this mushroom hence you just can't uh, extract from the mycelium you do need to grow this mushroom and then only you will get both the compounds no other food contains these two powerful compounds together that's the best part growing parameters of lion's mane this mushroom grows naturally on dead trees and fallen logs in the wild hence similar to the shiitake mushrooms you can grow this mushroom on logs outdoor log cultivation of shiitake mushroom uh, step by step video i have already made and you can find the link in the description and if you just follow those methods uh, the lion's mane will grow in the similar fashion but the most popular and the best way for the lion's mane is its indoor method it is a fast growing species just like oyster mushroom and it can easily grow within 15 to 30 days lion's mane grows best on supplemented hardwood sawdust ideal incubation temperature is around 21 to 24 degrees celsius when the vegetative growth takes place and for the fruiting temperature it's also similar uh, but the ideal is 18 to 24 degrees celsius relative humidity during the fruiting is around 90% and uh, like oyster mushrooms i will say uh, lions make lions mane mushrooms are little hassle free they are hardy uh, and they are quite adaptive to the climate if the co2 is uh, higher then it won't die and even if the temperature goes below or even higher it won't be some lions mane are such an adaptive species they will find a way to grow so that's why i said that it's really easy to grow cultivation guide of the lion's mane step by step okay so first step is that you have to arrange certain materials and equipments basic of them are uh, first you need lion's mane spawn uh, either you can make your own spawn using tissue culture or you can just uh, if you just don't know how to make you can go and visit bmmushroom.com there i have given the step by step on the blog section you will guide the you will get the guide for the spawn making or you can directly purchase from our website bmmushroom.com secondly you will need substrate the substrate can be hardwood uh, sawdust uh, the trees you can use for hardwoods are oak uh, tulip poplar beech elder the complete uh, complete list you can get it from the bmmushroom.com there i have given the all the plant, trees and if you want to know why hardwoods not softwood you, you should uh, go to our earlier videos the description in the video there i have already explained why you should choose only hardwoods and you will need supplements supplements are what it's just a nitrogen source which boost uh, the mycelium strength and so that you will get better quality yield and faster growth for supplements you can use any nitrogen source but uh, populars are uh, bran or you can also use oat uh, supplementation should be around 10 to 10 to around 25% and then you will need water and the growing bags or buckets and anything where you will be growing your mushrooms and uh, some thread or rubber bands these are the materials you will need and what are the equipments you will need you will need a measuring standard cup 
एंड बकेट और बाउल स्केल एंड देन द प्रेशर कुकर और द ऑटो क्लेव वेर यू विच स्टेरिलाइजिंग योर सब स्टेट Once you have all these things, then you should go for step two. In step two, the substrate preparation takes place. For around five pounds or around two point three kilogram of lion's mane block, you should have five cups of hardwood fuel pellets, and then after that you will have to add one point four liter of water. Uh, with this hardwood fuel pellets why i am talking about pellets is because uh, it's easy to find you can directly order it from online or if you have uh, the resources and nearby sawdust is available and you can directly buy sawdust also that's also fine and then combine these pellets with the water and then soak uh, let it soak for around 30 40 minutes and thoroughly mix them after that you will need to add your supplement just add around 1.25 cups of the wheat bran and mix it thoroughly once it's done now you should uh, test the final moisture content of your substrate it should be around 60 to 65% and anything more than this and lesser than this uh, will harm your mycelium uh, how to test for the uh, moisture you can simply uh, have a fist full of the substrate and just press it hard if water is not leaking out your palm is getting little bit wet it's having moisture but the water is not rinsing uh, between your fingers then it's fine it's around 60% then now you should move for the step 3 which is sterilization place the mixture of the substrate into a grow bag expel as much as water you can uh, sorry as much as air you can uh, of course the water has been already expelled and fold the bag or just uh, tie the bag from above and now sterilize the substrate in a pressure cooker or autoclave for around 2 and 1/2 hours allow your substrate to cool down before the next step in the step 4 inoculation takes place inoculation is a process of adding your lion's mane mushroom spawn to your prepared substrate before starting wipe down all the work surface area clean your hands well with soap or alcohol to avoid any contamination Also you can use laminar air flow which is the best thing otherwise you can also design your still air box how to go make your still air box step by step instruction is in the website bmmushroom.com you can go through that or also you can just sit in a room where no wind is blowing and sufficiently the air is clean now you have to inoculate you need to add your lion's mane spawn with the substrate what the substrate rate you can add for around 5% to 20% of your weight of the wet substrate the more spawn you add up to the 20% it's the limit it, the faster will be the inoculation growth now mix the substrate and the spawn together and close the top of the bag with a rubber band now the step 5 is incubation place the closed bag in a shaded indoor place like your home or at any shaded place clean area and leave it to, uh, leave it to incubate for next 10 to 14 days right now you need to maintain a moderate temperature of around 20 to 24 degrees celsius in meanwhile spawn will grow and spread throughout the bag and completely colonize the substrate here you need to know one thing unlike other mushrooms the mycelium of Uh, lion's mane is quite wispy and thin uh, what i mean by wispy is that mm, it will not form a thick white mat it will not look white uh, milky white completely and it may appear that the colonization has not taken place or the bag is partially colonized or randomly colonized so actually what happens is that it is very normal lion's mane's mycelium behaves like that you will not see very thick white uh, mycelium all around completely covered like others mushroom but that's fine it's completely natural what will happen is that then how will you understand that uh, when the incubation period will uh, be over how will you know it simple way to know is that after 14 days start observing your bag and you will notice that it will start form- forming fruiting bodies inside the bag randomly all around so once you st- uh, see that there the mushrooms are f- uh, fluffy mushroom layer is forming the lion's mane are forming it means the colonization is already complete and it's the time for fruiting now you should move to uh, step 6 and create fruiting conditions this involves cutting holes in your bags or making x or v in shape using sterilized blade 
the exposed portion will get fresh air and you will need to uh, place this uh, bag in a place where it is humid and shady and mist the bag several times a day it will keep the environment moist and within two to three days you will see that pinheads and the primordia forming on your substrate through those holes and these will grow into full size mushroom very soon once your mushroom is fully grown up harvest it either by twisting it from the base or cutting it from the base they are not as delicate as they look at uh, at fridge they will remain for good for around 10 days so you can see even the shelf life of this mushroom is even good use fresh or uh, you can use it fresh uh, for cooking or it can also be dried and preserved for several months you can always rehydrate them for use the commercial cultivation can be done once the basic skill of this mushroom cultivation is mastered if you want to learn complete commercial cultivation everything about the setup the farm design humidity fogger everything the calculations then you can just visit bmmushroom.com and join the complete training program online course where we teach everything about food processing marketing pest and disease management and complete thing about fungi marketing where to sell and how to sell there is a good demand for this mushroom it can be sold either in fresh dried or in processed form the extracts for this mushroom is in very high demand if you don't have any existing mushroom market in your area then you can do the following things by these things you will be easily able to market your mushrooms there are several channels for selling this mushroom or any other varieties of mushroom there are market places like offline markets or the online market places to learn all about the mushroom marketing and market places uh, the best thing will be you can join the free webinar the link is in the description there each and every aspect of mushroom marketing will be discussed in details secondly you can join the free marketing forum provided by the bm mushroom there you will be able to join the communities on facebook and whatsapp where regular buyers leads are provided uh, these are the communities of mushroom growers and mus mushroom buyers for that just visit bmmushroom.com and visit the page marketing exclusive or the members exclusive page there you will get all the links third for assured selling and peace of mind you can join the entrepreneur special training program with mushroom buyback facility here the farmer needs to just focus on creating quality products of mushroom or simple dry mushrooms and they can easily sell it to us this is a limited seed training program where the enrolled students enter into contract farming with us they produce quality mushrooms and directly sell it to us for further details you can visit bmmushroom.com or just call on the given number on the screen or you can also whatsapp us there are several mushroom species to choose from apart from lion's mane you can also grow shiitake oyster milky and there are combo courses where you will be able to grow two varieties of mushroom Uh, in the training program which is specially for entrepreneurs who want to set up their mushroom farm small scale or large scale it do provides you the special benefit or peace of mind if you are having an assured marketplace hence we do provide you the buyback option let's discuss the curriculum in short it covers every aspect of cultivation from the basic to expert level even without any prior experience or knowledge you will be able to set up your grow room your mushroom unit and generate profitable income from it The approach is to understand every aspect of the fungi from a scientific angle. It involves full knowledge about the farm design, spawn making, substrate sterilization, grow room, climate control, pest disease management, compost making, harvest, packaging, preservation, fruit processing, marketing, e-commerce and plus the special support of the mushroom buyback. The delivery mechanism of this hybrid uh, course is that the theory part is taught via online mode and the practical is performed under our supervise supervision at your home itself the course contains several chapters on different topics and all are delivered via video classes webinars interactive one and one sessions notes ebooks live classes etc it can be accessed through any computer or mobile browser regular doubt clearing sessions are held after every chapter so everything is clear and crystal we regularly update the course content the course content shall be for the lifetime hence uh, you can always come back and revise your content and for the practical workshop practical assignment are very important we send the basic grow kits for the cultivation of the mushroom varieties which you choose like the spawn the pp bags hence the student makes small grow bags and cultivates the mushroom right at home or small enclosed area these are just for practical and practice only here the students follow the assignment step by step instruction given inside the course and with our consistent guidance the 
cultivated mushroom at home uh, will be edible and uh, you will be able to just experience the growing of the mushroom after the completion the student also receives an certificate and about the business and buyback policy and for more details you can just visit bmmushroom.com and contact us right away for any further doubt or guidance you can reach us over the given phone number or whatsapp or mail us if you are not sure about which mushroom you should choose from you can call us for free consultancy we hope you like this video and for further learning please subscribe this channel thank you happy mushrooming